Booyah. Welcome back to Film Gob, everyone. It's Shaker here. And uh, I came across this image on Facebook and then I went to Twitter and it turns out it's from a friend, Dami Edwards. We follow each other. And he posted this comparison between Batman v Superman and Avengers Endgame. Now, you all have heard about you know, what Zack Snyder's original plans were for Justice League and he never got to film that original script. Uh, he had to rewrite his uh, film and... Uh, it, that was the one that was shot, and that is the Snyder Cut we've been asking for. But in the meantime, you know, you've got Marvel Studios who are praised for being so original, and yet, you know, you've got Captain America Civil War, which had huge chunks of the film that was very similar to Batman v Superman, and now you've got Avengers Endgame. And specifically, this final act where the battle takes place and certain events that occur afterwards, shot for shot, very similar to the last act of BVS, so credit to Dami Edwards for finding these. And we're going to go through it because I've put the shots together in video form. Let's check it out. So there you go, straight away we've got, you know, the shot. We've seen this in the trailer, people were talking about it when they saw it in the trailer. It's shot from behind of our three heroes approaching the villain. And then, of course, we've got the shot of the Trinity together. If this happened one-off, I would be like, okay, fair enough, it's a coincidence, but this many shots, and especially the next shot that I'm going to show you, which is something I found myself, check this out. Oh, look. Look at that, the framing of this shot. You've got the main woman superhero, you know, restraining the villain, struggling to contain him. The, the choice of character we have here. We've, of course, it has to be the, the woman superhero in Avengers Endgame because that's what it was in Batman v Superman. You had Wonder Woman. Here you've got Captain Marvel. Of course, who else would it be? Similar framing, similar shot. I can't believe it. Let's move on. Here's a... Uh, Superman on the left, he's going to sacrifice himself to save the world. And what do we have in Avengers Endgame? Of course, Tony Stark, he suddenly realises that there's a world outside of himself. So he, yeah, he clicks, you know, oh, by the way, spoilers, everyone, for Avengers Endgame, if you haven't seen it. Quite similar, a hero sacrificing himself. You can see the shot of, uh, you know, his chest. Superman's chest, then you've got Avengers Endgame, a shot of his chest. Pans nicely to his face. Oh, Russo Brothers, you, you, you know, you, you guys really need to be a bit more original. You know, so you, you guys are getting praised for the, the cinematic language of Avengers Endgame. Oh my god, it's jaw-dropping. Well, you, you seem to be ripping off uh, Zack Snyder quite a bit. Let's move on. Ah, yes. Emotional, got Lois Lane kissing uh, Clark Kent, crying, and in Avengers Endgame you've got Pepper Potts. She had to be there, because that's what Batman v Superman did, Lois Lane was there. So we need Pepper Potts in this shot. Uh, as the remaining heroes look on, Batman and Wonder Woman. Avengers Endgame, of course, we need the uh, original heroes there as well. Captain America, Thor. They're th they're the ones who need to be looking on. They have to be right next to each other in this frame. Look at this. <laughs> if you seek his monument, look around you. And the best the Russo brothers could come up with, or the writers of the Avengers Endgame, uh, proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Lame, um, I'm not sure how much they got paid for writing that, but that sucks. We can do better. We so you've got the funeral, and we've got the, obviously in the Batman v Superman you've got a shot of uh, the Metropolis and Gotham citizens paying their respect, and then Avengers Endgame you've got the rest of the heroes and characters uh, paying their respect to Tony Stark. 
Bruce Wayne he's kind of looking on something's coming something's more to come Nick Fury in Avengers Endgame looking on he's he's back he's been unsnapped and he's, he's going to get back to work now maybe creating a new Avengers team oh my oh look look at that look <laughs> look at that <laughs> of uh, Bruce and Diana looking on obviously they're looking at uh, Lois Lane and in Avengers Endgame you've got again two characters kind of looking on a little moment they're sharing private moment of course so this is where it's kind of reversed you know we've got a uh, you've got Diana speaking to Bruce and then in the other shot you've got Clint speaking to um, whatever her name is Scarlet Witch and uh, then it flips here you go They both have feelings, yeah, like Bruce Wayne says he, he has a feeling and uh, just like uh, uh, Scarlet Witch, he's like, oh yeah, I have a feeling as well that uh, everything is fine. So it's kind of flipped, it's, but it's similar. So let me know everyone, what do you think about these comparisons? You know, Batman v Superman, it's the gift that keeps on giving. I'm sure Marvel Studios feel that way as well because this is now the second, third movie uh, under the Russo brothers that uh, they've lifted heavily from uh, with uh, Batman v Superman. So let me know what you think about these shots, you know, thematically, visually, especially this one I found. Let me, let me just go back a bit. This one here, oh my goodness. Of course, you had uh, Wonder Woman uh, taking on Doomsday and a very, very similar shot, very, very similar framing of Captain Marvel taking on Thanos. How unimaginative Marvel Studios is that they can rip off movies just from three years ago from the similar, uh, from the competition basically, right? Not an, a different genre of film from 20, 30 years ago. We're talking about a, a film that came out just three years ago that they were in competition with and they're lifting ideas from it still. So let me know in the comments, click that like button, share and of course subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell. But until next time, I'm Shaker, and I will catch you later.